Welcome to Milan. Yesterday, I took you to a football match outside of Milan in a place called Monza. I really, really enjoy those videos where I investigate football teams that I don't really know a huge amount about and maybe you haven't heard much of either. However, today couldn't be much more different. There are a few stadiums around the world that I've always wanted to visit. The Camp Nou was one, we went there just before COVID, really all the lockdowns and stuff. The Bernabeu was one. I was impressed with the new camp, I loved that. I saw Messi score, that was great. The Bernabeu, uh, I thought it was really expensive actually and it was during its reconstruction, so I don't feel like I got the best experience out of that. Another one was Borussia Dortmund. I've always wanted to go to the Westfalen Stadium or Signal Iduna Park, I'm sure you guys are the same. It's an iconic stadium and I was blown away by that, I loved it. Um, but there's another one that I have to go to as well and that is the San Siro here in Milan. And this is one of the main reasons I actually came to Milan for this trip was to see the match that we're going to today. Inter Milan versus Lecce at the San Siro. Or Inter Milan actually have a different name for it. We'll get into that a little bit later in the video. I was having a conversation with somebody recently and they were saying how they'd never been to, I don't think, Upton Park or White Hart Lane. I've been to Upton Park, I never went to White Hart Lane, I never went to Highbury either. There's loads of amazing old historic stadiums I had never been to and I don't want the San Siro to be one of them. I always have wanted to go and by all accounts it's going to be getting knocked down within the next year or two. So I had to come and see it in its original form before it maybe gets redeveloped or knocked down and rebuilt completely. Like I mentioned a minute ago, I think that Inter Milan have a different name for the stadium um, and Internazionale are the team that we shall be seeing today. I cannot wait to get down there. It is currently uh, in the afternoon here. It's a beautiful sunny day here, about 17 degrees. There are many things I expected to see in Milan. Stadiums, obviously, castles, restaurants, tourist shops, but one thing I wasn't expecting was loads of turtles. I was playing football manager as a kid and I think I drew AC Milan or Inter Milan, sorry, in the, um, in the Champions League. I was maybe Liverpool or something. And I saw that we were playing in the stadium that wasn't called the San Siro. And I was obviously aware that AC and Inter shared a stadium. It said the Giuseppe Maezza. I hope I'm saying that right, Giuseppe Maezza. Oh, look at this, the Milan sun has just been phenomenal these last few days. Um, but yeah, I, I couldn't really work out why it was a, different stadium name but I have just gone back to the hotel I've edited the bit of the video that has already been on that you've already seen and um, it does seem like I think from what I've read online both clubs now just call it the San Siro anyway um, but there was a time where for a good few years that Milan called or Inter called it after their legend the man that I just uh, I just mentioned so a little bit confusing um, I'm not sure the nuts and bolts of it now but we're heading to the stadium now one of the most iconic stadiums, one of my bucket list stadiums, along with Boca Juniors, Dortmund, obviously this one, Bernabeu, like I said, and Camp Nou as well. Stick around till later in the video and I'll let you know how much the ticket cost. I think you're gonna be surprised with how much it was to come to such a big, iconic stadium. We're just making our way there now. I've done so much walking over the last few days here in Milan, but I'm absolutely loving it. What a place, the next time I see you, will be at the San Siro. Here it is behind me, the San Siro, a stadium that I've wanted to see for so long. There's quite a lot to see around the San Siro. Um, including an amazing statue of a horse which is really famous but I will ask you to subscribe I'm not going to be showing you that in this video um, I will be doing the stadium tour here tomorrow so hopefully we can go inside and see the museum and um, learn a little bit more about both clubs that play here but here it is look at that buzzing I'm finally here really really happy to see it a lovely night here again in Milan as the sun is about to set look at all the Inter fans getting ready for the game some atmosphere around here already let's grab a beer
we've kicked off here, as you can see, and we are in an absolute cathedral of football. Look at the flags flying over there and the Lecce fans over there. But what a view. Oh, listen to the fans. Ready? But look, what a view you get at Milan. You got the newer big buildings to your left, but middle of the screen right now that is Duomo di Milano which is the main sort of tourist attraction that you want to see here the big church where I did my intro yesterday for the um for the Monza video what a view you get of Milan oh I'm buzzing to be here As you can see, it's not a complete sellout today. There's a few like pockets of empty seats, especially in the lower tier. And I will be telling you how much this cost me. Again, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised, but um, look at this, like it's a huge stadium. It's such an honor to be here. 75,000 officially, but I think it's maximum could be 80,000. I don't know if that's those bits up there. They've got a block off behind both goals and up the top, I don't know, but um, you cannot fault the Inter fans especially the ultras there behind that goal flags flying and fans singing for the whole game i imagine with 24 minutes in and they haven't stopped yet for all the Man United fans watching. Wow, what a strike. And Arsenal, wasn't it Arsenal as well? One nil Inter, wow. Buzzing that we've seen a goal here at the San Siro, unreal. It's half time here in this incredible stadium and you can hear that the fans are even singing as the half time whistle goes. It's 1 0 to Inter. Henrik Mkhitaryan with a fantastic goal, as you would have seen. We've seen Dortmund win on this channel, we've seen Real Madrid win on this channel, Barcelona. Are we about to see Inter Milan? 45 minutes to go here.
an iconic stadium for me someone who loves to travel around Europe and the world actually through um, through football it is an absolute dream to finally watch a game at the San Siro especially given all the noise about them knocking it down and maybe building a new one so yeah really really glad I've ticked that one off feels like a big moment in my um, my YouTube football supporting ground hopping journey that I'm on um, yeah absolutely amazing 2-0 to Inter in the end um, they were pretty comfortable against Lecce, who were like lower mid-table. They looked like they'll be safe from relegation, but they didn't really pose much of a threat today, to be honest. Good to see players like Dzeko and Martinez and Lukaku came off the bench as well. So, yeah, just all about that stadium today for me and the fans as well. Amazing. Great atmosphere and... I love when the pyro came out as well. When I was recording my outro, when I was walking away from the stadium, I completely forgot to mention how much this cost for the ticket. I did mention once or twice that you'd be pleasantly surprised. So here we go. Thank you for staying till this point. I will now let you know how much it cost. It was just 14 euros, one four euros to watch Inter in the San Siro. Yesterday, the, the cheapest ticket at Monza, who were 11th in the league, was 25 euros so 14 euros all you have to do is go on the inter website make an account buy a ticket it's that simple it's going to be about 12 pound 50 i think once you convert it back to pounds about 12 11 quid so unbelievable value okay back to my original outro um like i said i'm coming back to do the stadium tour here very very soon so yeah hopefully that video will be out in a day or two um i will leave some videos on screen right now if you could click on one to carry on watching, that'd be amazing. One of them will be the Monza video that I filmed yesterday. If you haven't seen that, do check it out. AC Monza against Empoli. 
and I'll leave another one on there um, that I've enjoyed filming. So yeah, check them out. Check the Monza one out. Great day out that was. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao.